Hey guys, it's Kevin Tushy Adventures here. And before we start this video, I want to say I'm sorry about the lighting. I, I I wanted to record the video earlier today, but it was raining and I just wasn't motivated. But I'm here now, and we're gonna talk about the gear that I've wasted money on and I were just useless to me, and gear that I use all the time, most like most of the time when I go fishing. So. It was just an idea that popped in my head, and I had to make a video. So the first thing I want to talk about that I wasted my money on was this carp bait. I, I can't remember what it was, who made it, but it was this carp bait that it was in a big container, and it was just clumped together, and it, it was just, I knew it wouldn't work, and I just started giving it a try. It had, like, these corn chunks in it, and it looked appetizing, I guess, for the carp, but it, it didn't work at all. And um, what you do is you take a spoon and just get yourself a nice piece and put on the hook. It didn't work for me at all. It just went right by it and went to the rod that it had bread on it. Um, another thing I want to talk about would be the uh, carp pellets that I bought along with the um, weird clumpy stuff. So, the carp pellets, I guess I'll call them, are... Okay, so if you have bought catfish bait from the store and those... um bags and they're like I don't know maybe that big and they're just uh like little capsules of catfish bait that's what it was but with carp so they didn't really smell it's just I don't know I I don't know why someone would like that carp really don't really care what they eat so I mean if you just throw a piece of bread on there like a good old-fashioned way or sometimes corn I'll go right after it I don't see why I have to buy some Fancy baits for carp, but I guess at the time I thought it was a great bait to buy for carp. I don't know. I just wasn't thinking. The next bait I'll be talking about is a bait that I bought before the first time I went trout fishing. And I bought um, trout eggs. And they weren't like salt salted. Well, they weren't like scented or anything, and they didn't have any taste to them. They were just these little clumps of plastic balls. That I'll, I'll probably uh, put a link in the description to them. If I really want you guys to waste your time, I'll do. I'll put. I'll put it in the description. But pretty much what they were, there was one in the center, and then it would just like circle it. They're maybe like that big, and they were just. I never used them. What I would actually do is rip them apart and put a single ball on there, so it acted like a uh, a salmon egg, and I I wouldn't even use them for trout because I know they're not stupid enough to use it. So I'd catch bluegill with it. So, one, it was a waste of money because I just rip them apart. Two, I, I just wouldn't use them whole. And I, I never really used them. So, that, I guess that's the main reason that they were a waste of money. Alright, the last thing that I spent, like, a, a ton of money on that was a waste of money would probably have to be my really thick line test. I bought this line maybe two or three years ago. And I put it on my black ugly stick. You guys know which one I'm talking about. I'm not talking about my new one. I'm talking about the one that's been with me for a while now, and it's it's uh, it's seen some things. So this line was so thick, like no matter what, like if I were to just put on a normal reel, or I even sometimes I bought a new reel, the line was just way too thick to use. So whenever I uh, cast it, it would just get in these big birds' nests, and I the reason the main reason that it was a waste of money was because it took more time to fix the line and tangles than it did to actually cast out the rod and bring the fish. So one, it was just a major waste of time. It was a waste of money. And I really didn't catch many fish on it. So, I mean, I prefer sticking with the uh, lighter lines. And I, like, I'm going to suggest that I stick with like the 6-pound. Maybe I'll go to 12 if I'm fishing for... Um, some bottom feeders, but that's pretty much it. Um, we're going to move on to the things that I use all the time when I go fishing. The first thing that I'll be talking about is my fishing basket. You guys have seen that if you watched my uh, I'm Back video where Karsh and I were catching all those bass. And the reason I like that thing so much is... Well, I have a lot of reasons. I'm only going to say three. The first reason is it doesn't hurt the fish as much as a stringer will, so just to tie it through their gills. All you do is just put the basket in the water, tie it off to a tree or something, and just throw the fish in, they'll freely swim around until you're ready to go home with them. 
The next reason is it stores like really easily. All you have to do is push together and put your zip ties on it and you're done. With a stringer on the other hand, you have to tie it and make sure it doesn't like get all tangled up. And the last reason I have is because, I mean, it's just, it was just a great, you can just hang it off your boat. Um, I, I mean, I obviously have a boat. But you, you could just put it anywhere. All it has to be is in water. So you just throw it somewhere on like a stringer where you have to jab it in somewhere by near the shore. You can't just hang it off a boat or else the fish will fall off. And that's why I like my fishing basket so much. The next item I'll be talking about is obviously it's a no-brainer. A fishing pole. Like, I mean, who doesn't use a fishing pole when they go fishing unless they're hand fishing or spear fishing? I mean, think about it. The only thing that you need when you're fishing is a fishing pole, a hook, and some bait in the line. Like, that's all you need. Um, I bring my, I bring two rods. You know, my black ugly stick, and then I guess it's my ugly stick number two, but I, it's my new rod. And you, I don't really think you, know, you guys have seen that rod yet. No, you haven't. I, you'll see it uh, during the summer, though, a lot. Um... You need a rod, and I love both of my rods. I don't get rid of my rods. I just store them away. And if they break, they break, and I'll, then I'll throw them away. But I don't, like I do with my reels, I just throw them in a, I throw my reels in a bucket if I don't use them anymore. So I always have them, and I just hang my old rods up in the, uh, you guys haven't seen my garage lad either. I'll, I'll show you that. But I, ha I have this little thing on the side of my garage where I put all my rods and stuff. It's, uh, it's great, but we'll talk about organization another day. Um, yeah, I just love both of my rods, and they were a great way to spend your money if you buy a nice, ugly stick. They're reliable, they're durable. They're not going to break, like it says. Even if you try, they're not going to break. So don't try it. <laughs> the last item I'll be talking about on our list will be, obviously, my knives. I like all of my knives and every way. I mean, not all knives can do the same thing, so that's why I have three of them. I have my fillet knife. Great great way to spend money. I have my uh, I have my two pocket knives. I have a small one and a medium sized one. So with the medium size, I honestly I could do anything with it right now because it's really sharp still. And with my smaller one, I can't do too much. So what I do most of the time with that is I cut up bait if I don't have my fillet knife, which I always have on me. So most of the time, the smaller one just sits in the side compartment waiting to be used. Um, my fillet knife, I always use, well, Karsten uses it since he fillets the fish. But I use the fillet knife sometimes to scale the fish for him. Um, I just, I always use a knife when I'm going fishing. I guarantee you that I'll use my knife. Now, I'm, I'm going to make a prediction here. I'll use my knife a thousand times this year. That's my prediction. And go ahead and keep track. I dare ya. Um... But that's it for today's video. I uh, hope you liked it. It just a video, an idea popped in my head, so I need to make a like some lists or something, so I don't keep freaking out like this. So that's it. Like I said, that's it for today's video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and always this is Kevin Fishing Adventures, and keep fishing. Don't go away. Don't go away. One last thing, I will be live streaming tomorrow for live stream Wednesday. I'll probably be wearing my uh, Kevin Fishing Adventures shirt. It's in the wash right now. So, um, I don't have anything. Wait, I, and I'm going to be trying to get a hat to come out for Kevin's Fishing Adventures that I'll probably wear. So, if you want that, if you like it, let me know. And now you can go away. Uh, that's Kevin's Fishing Adventures saying, keep fishing.